What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm super excited because the energy today has been at an all time high, and I really wanted to get this message out to you guys. So, the question is going to be, what do you have to look forward to? So we're going to switch it up a little bit, get more encouraging so that we can raise the frequency and uplift the universe one by one. If you guys are new to my channel, shout out to all my new subscribers who are here. I'm about 10K away from 200K, so shout out to all my new subscribers. And of course, the notification gang that has been with me from the jump. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm so grateful for you guys. All of your comments down below of just sending love and light and encouraging one another, uplifting each other in the comments is really, really what I'm all about. For those of you who are new, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. If you guys are interested in booking a reading, a coaching session, or my webinar series that I do monthly on information of just raising your frequency or raising your consciousness and becoming more enlightened, please check out my website. I have so much going on. If you don't follow me on Instagram, also follow me there at the tarot priest where I will be much more interactive and up to date with the things that I have going on. All right. So without further ado, I don't want to hold up this reading because I want to maintain this energy and get this good energy flowing to you guys. So I have four different decks that you guys can choose from. Remember that the question is, what do I have to look forward to? Or what does higher self want you to know that you have coming in store for you? All right, so we have four different decks. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what do you have to look forward to? So now, before I shuffled these cards, I had one word come to mind for each different deck. I didn't want to expose it in the very beginning because I didn't want to sway you away from your intuition. Now, if you guys chose this deck, my energy, before I look at these cards, because remember, I don't look at the cards, I just shuffle through and it's all random. Six different decks I think I have here, okay? The card that I have for you guys was royalty, okay? So I don't know exactly what type of royalty you're going to be experiencing, but before I even shuffled and I looked at this dark purple violet stone, I knew right away that something is getting ready to happen in your life that is going to give you a lot more credibility or a lot more acknowledgement for the things that you do. Now with deck number one, I'm strongly feeling that you're not or don't usually look for credibility, but this is just something that comes with who you are. So let's see what you guys have to look forward to. All right, so we have courage, existence, and also the king of wands. Let's see what all of the tarot is about. Okay, so we have the three of swords, the king of wands, and the nine of wands, okay? So some of you may have been feeling pretty exhausted. You're really looking forward to something. This place in this stage that you're in of just low low frequency of emotional heartache or just low frequency energy and stamina, a lack of stamina is getting ready to come to a closing. Now, the reason why you have been experiencing what you've been experiencing so far is to discover your existence. Now, obviously we know that we exist, but beyond the illusion, beyond the body, there is a beautiful existence that you guys are getting ready to experience if you have not already. Now, the courage and everything that you went through, the bravery was necessary for you to come into coexistence with who you are. And I'm gonna explain that. We have Capricorn energy here and we have fire energy, okay? So you guys could be a Leo, Aries, Capricorn, and then also a Sagittarius, you don't have to be. But a lot of the things that you guys have experienced, a lot of this emotional loss with the three of swords was also to find yourself, to heal. And, and understanding that you have the capability to do this for yourself. And so everything that was falling apart in your life externally was to get you to look back internally to what and who you really are. Some of you have not been really giving yourself even the credit that you deserve. So again, what you have to look forward to, and it might feel a little weird at first, is more of encouraging, uplifting words from other people, but also yourself. That's something that spirit really wants you to get more in tune with is just 
pouring back into yourself, understanding that you are royalty, understanding that there is nobody like you on this planet. There is no one in this world like you. Therefore, you are very unique in your own existence for just simply existing here, for simply being here and watching me as I'm giving you this reading. This is all perfect synchronicity happening at this very moment. But what spirit also wants you to know, deck number one, is that you're safe and that there are fears that you're getting ready to overcome. Some of these fears, you didn't really have a choice. You're going to go through them and it is to show you the strength that you have within yourself okay so a lot of this is really you understanding that you are first royalty understanding that you are deserving of every desire that you have and then almost like exuberating that back into external reality so that others see that as well but you must first see that in yourself and then eventually people are going to wonder where you came from or how or how are you glowing or what happened differently what's going on in your life something must be happening so something is getting ready to shift in your life that's going to bring the spotlight to you a lot of people are also going to acknowledge you for that now we have the two of cups here this is like an intimate connection usually this is with another person some of you another thing that you have to look forward to is discovering a soulmate in this lifetime okay but a lot of your fears are around love it is around worthiness that's why i feel like royalty came up before i even shuffled through these cards it is about acknowledgement of who you are some of you have been settling for someone that you are not and the greater version of you is hard to accept because of it, it's not as believable and that tells me that again spirit is getting ready to almost give you a new lens so that you can see yourself differently. But again, remember, you must see yourself as royalty before the people around you also see that within you. So this is really a turnaround moment for you. Now, deck number one, you got the devil card twice. So this is definitely releasing, releasing, and releasing. You are getting ready to experience freedom like you've never felt before. This freedom is just simply because you're aware of who you are. Now, when the lion wakes up to its reflection of being a lion, it is a different roar, okay? That's why I said people are going to acknowledge you. People are going to want to give you recognition. They're going to say, did you change your hair? Something looks differently. It, whatever it may be, people are going to realize this glow about you, but it's your aura. You're releasing things. And most of this is fear, okay? Now, with this comes setting strong boundaries because people have taken you for granted. Now, this is not because of their fault. It's more so of the display that you've had for yourself was not of royalty. And so people were not really honoring you at that level. And so spirit is like, you must honor yourself and know who you are. That's a really big statement, deck number one know who you are so that you do not settle for who you are not because that would mean you would be settling for a life that you did not desire okay so a lot of freedom is coming to you it says i am free of whatever is holding you back and they're both in the reverse so this tells me that you've been wrestling with a lot of things in your life and they're getting ready to come to an end but it's simply by understanding that your existence is royal it's deserving it is also very worthy all right, let's see what else we have. Action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. So now we have courage and we also have confidence. These are two essential things that you're learning how to face your fears, how to confront the people that you need to confront, how to take more action and not just thinking in order to manifest things into existence that's also something that's getting ready to happen for you you're gonna manifest a lot of things and it just simply comes from knowing that you are royal so you deserve the highest prestige that's that's a higher level now out of all four of the decks for some reason this one seems a little bit more heavy usually it's my deck number four but deck number one just seemed very resonant towards even myself so this is about really waking up to who you are and knowing that you can do great things 
And even the things that you want to accomplish that seem like they are impossible, you must take your courage and your confidence with you as you're acting towards what it is that you want. Because again, you must know that you're royalty. We have the queen of pentacles, queen and the king, doesn't matter the gender. Uh, the spirit is fluid, but it says, I have everything I need to prosper. Again, someone who is royal does not question. They already know what to expect for themselves. Okay, so you're getting ready to manifest a lot of things. Some, are, some of you may be looking for a house or looking for a new place to live or doing something that's going to take a lot of courage. This seems like a large leap of faith, whatever it is. I'm definitely seeing a house, but it's something also that, that you guys have been pondering on. For a few of you, there's something that you've been pondering on that you really want to take action towards, but you're lacking just a little bit of courage because there's a lot of fear and just a little bit of confidence. And where are you going? Returning home, transition, life between lifetimes, loving welcome. A lot of you, and I know this sounds crazy because I, I don't think I've ever had this message come through. A lot of you are returning home during your sleep. So uh, if you guys are feeling exhausted after you wake up, I don't, again, this is, this is like I said, this is going to be some intense energy in this reading today. And, and I knew this. Some of you in your, in your sleep, in your dreams are like traveling in between dreams. And so there's a lot of exhaustion, but what's happening is it's a very weird experience of transitioning into a spiritual realm. Okay. Now this spiritual realm, follow me because I know it sounds crazy. There is, it's almost like a realm of uh, existence or, or a thing or a place where you could manifest simply by just dreaming about these things. This is a lot of power. Again, that's why they, your, my spirit guides keep saying that it's important that you must know who you are first so that you can use that to your advantage to manifest a reality that you want here. This is deep, deep stuff. Woman holding a coin. So some of you are going to experience more abundance. People are going to want to give to you just because you are walking in who you are as someone who knows that they have everything to prosper. It's interesting, people who have everything to prosper, people fluently just donate to them or want to give and be a part of whatever it is that they're doing. So we have that, and then we also have the first chakra, which is the base chakra, okay? So another thing that you're getting ready to establish is a much more solid foundation for yourself so that you can have this soulmate come in. So there is someone that is getting ready to come in. I don't feel like this is relatively close, and that is simply that is simply because spirit wants you to know who you are first. If you don't know that you're royalty, what will you attract? I want you to really think of that, okay? If you don't know that, conclusions are within reach. So I feel like a lot of solutions and resolutions are getting ready to happen and a lot of harmony in your family, friends, family and friends, and foundation. A personal issue reaches resolution, yeah. A lot of conclusions and resolutions is what you have to look forward to. This is good. This is harmony. The, the stamina, the feeling exhausted, right? Another thing that spirit is saying is get inspired about something. Get excited about something because a lot of your energy is drained right now. And what you have to look forward to is a massive world of creation. It's just simply having the power to shift your reality by just believing that you're royalty, just believing that you have a manifesting ability. This is very, very deep spiritual enlightenment, okay? Now with the King of Wands in reverse, I haven't had a chance to really go over that, but what this is about is there's a lack of creativity and inspiration that's causing you to get exhausted. Remember, we are spiritual beings. We are literally co-creators. We come to create. And so if you're not creating, if you're not expressing, you will feel drained, especially with everything going on. So I feel like a lot more inspiration is getting ready to come to you, a lot more courage and confidence, and obviously the royalty. Now we have the rebel, and we also have understanding. So everything that I'm saying right here, in the next two to three months, check back with this video, watch it again, and you're gonna be amazed at the perspective and the perception. You might not even choose the same deck, but the reason why I say that is because all of this is going to make sense in the next three months, okay? A lot more understanding, a lot more maturity. And the last thing I see for you, deck number one, is more freedom, obviously, the rebel. Rebel with the cause, which is just, you know, freedom, as long as you're not infringing on others. And this 
all of this is coming to a conclusion of getting to a higher heights of spirituality. And the, and the thing is, is, spirituality is a crazy word. It sounds so amazing, but it is just very simple. It's just a word to address your soul, okay? Getting in touch with that soul, limitless being that you are, so that you can get back to alignment and actually be able to manifest your desires. So if you chose deck number one, that was a crazy, crazy reading. And I really strongly feel like when you're dreaming, there is a lot happening. There's a lot being created, even in the imaginative world. So look into your dreams, create a dream journal also, and keep track of the messages that are coming to you specifically through your dreams. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading. Obviously, don't forget to comment down below and say that I am royalty so I can get back some words of encouragement to you guys. Also, if you go across a comment, please feel free to inspire and encourage and uplift other people because I want to bring more harmony and unity to my comment sections. All right, I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what you have to look forward to. So I chose a word for each different deck that I did not talk about earlier because I wanted you guys to basically follow your intuition and see what was led to you. So there were four words that came to me in the deck and the word that I have for this deck was peace. Okay. And so you have a lot of peace to look forward to. It's almost like you're going through the storm right now, but the rainbow is getting ready to appear only because you believe that the shift is near and I'm going to get into that just one second. All right, let's see what you guys have in store and what's to look forward to. The energy is gaining momentum. Exactly. That's what I'm feeling today. It's just a more uh, momentum feeling of good, positive energy of inspiration and happiness and joy. And most importantly for you, deck number two, peace. This is something that you're getting ready to look forward to, but it seems like there just needed to be some things cleaned up so that you can come to a place of peace and then also understanding that peace is within peace is within so the energy and the gaining is momentum the meditation peace relief and sanctuary see i knew that this deck was exuberating peace um again i did not see these cards before i'm reading them to you so we're seeing at, seeing them at the same time so we have the meditation peace relief and sanctuary so it's like that peace that you've been longing for for some time for things to just stop for a pause for a break it seems like it's right there and on the way another thing that i'm feeling for you deck number two is this peace comes through a sense of freedom okay being able to do the things that you enjoy and also being at peace with not having to worry stress about the past or the future we have discernment okay so that's another thing that that's getting ready to happen for you. Deck number two, this is all mental stuff. This is literally an entirely different reading. It doesn't even really resonate as much with the other groups as it usually does. This is specifically for you. Okay. So you are learning that you are not your thoughts. Okay. You're learning that your thoughts, thoughts belong to the your, that would be you. So you cannot be the your and the thoughts. And I know this sounds crazy, but follow me really quickly. You are learning that you are the awareness of these thoughts. Okay. The discernment is not so much with people. It's within your own mind discerning. Is this coming from my spirit or is this coming from my thoughts? And remember thoughts are created through the mind. Okay. And so that's, what's creating this anxiousness, this uh, low vibration in your mind. Okay. So it says all is not what seems to be stay true to your knowing, which would mean stay true to your intuition and do not choose to believe things that are not true. This is the place where you're getting ready to come into in meditation with letting go of the thoughts that do not belong to you. Okay. These are low vibrational negative thoughts. Okay. These are fears, fears of failure, fears of rejection, fears of being walking, uh, abandonment is something here. Fear of not being successful in time. That's something that I'm hearing too. Like there's so many things that you're worried about. Deck number two, be still, slow down, allow things to work. This shows me that there's so much here. <laughs> 
What you have to look forward to is a lot of freaking peace. And that's what's happening. You're like bulldozing through this wall so that you can find this place of meditative and a, a meditative state of just relief. And basically what spirit is saying is letting go of the control to have everything perfectly in a line, letting go of having all of the to-do lists, all of these mental things. And I'm getting strong earth vibes too. You don't have to be an earth sign, but I'm definitely getting strong earth signs. Capricorn and that's Virgo and Taurus. So with this piece, what you are learning now is that you must let go of control and trust something much beyond your control. And that's where intuition comes in. So you're getting ready to come into like this sacred, beautiful place of a sanctuary of peace in a meditative state. But I have to say deck number two, you're going to get so good at this that you will feel like you are meditated and your eyes are awakened. And that's a whole nother level <laughs> when you're just in meditation and still like walking around, but you're just in this bubble of peace. That's basically what you're coming into leadership. Another thing is, you know, this level of teaching that I'm even expressing to you, deck number two tells me that you've been some doing some searching, you've been trying, you've, you've come a long way of seeking more or wanting to do better for yourself. And so that's almost like what you're getting, getting ready to see the fruits of that labor of wanting to find peace, wanting to be at peace, working hard to do so. So the leadership is basically all, also what you're getting ready to dive into. Now, it's almost like you're at the first stages of this, but you're being called to also, once you learn about peace, and I don't just mean peace as being quiet. This is a depth level of peace. Go back to Gandhi. Go back to that level of peace of meditative state. Go into researching and seeking out these people. That's who you're becoming as a leader who is able to then help others find that peace within. And that's why I'm referring to you as a leader or some of the great leaders who also expressed peace in this lifetime. Okay, stepping into leadership. Something else I have to say for you, deck number two that just came through also is just because you want to be in peace in nature does not mean that you have to sacrifice material things or practical things. You can have both. Remember, practical things like cars and houses and things of that, you can have that and also have nature. You can have a balance of the two, okay? So share your message, inspire and empower others. That's what this is all about right now is for you to kind of be groomed for this leadership position. So you have that to look forward to. Now we have the three of swords, the five of pentacles, and the fifth chakra, the fifth chakra is the throat chakra, and that is the blue chakra. So basically, you're speaking <laughs> your words, right? When you figure this out, and that's what you're doing right now, is to find a meditative place of peace. This is what you have to look forward to. You will then have this natural desire to want to share this with others, okay? With the throat chakra and the leadership, this would be someone who is just speaking, is just bringing peace. Just you speaking words of light will bring peace to others. You're learning about your power. You have a lot of that to look forward to. I see things exactly how they are. Five of pentacles. So you're getting ready to be also more peace, not just in the mind, but peace with the things that have happened in your life. You're finally getting ready to come to this place of being able to be relieved so that you can let go. Another thing that is coming in is that lack of peace is coming from the control. Again, to have everything perfectly aligned, perfectly this way, this way, this way, this way. Spirit does not flow under control. It just it just flows effortlessly. So just allowing that in um, is going to help you have more peace in, in about your finances as well. Something about just how am I going to do this? How am I going to sustain this? There's so many questions about that. You have a lot more abundance that is coming to you all because of peace. I'm saying like this is the core message of every single thing that you're longing for is just to first find a place of peace so that these things can begin to happen. It's almost like spirits like get out of the way. Okay. Look at this strategy, strategy and peace. Okay. It's okay to have strategy, but how far is the strategy taking you? And is it taking you into an overload of thoughts and to do lists? And I have to just those three words. I have to is, is it almost like suffocates the freedom in me to say that it's like, when I say I have to, it's just like that obligation does not feel good. So again, so the strategy, it's like, again, balance, balance of having a practical plan here on earth, but balancing it intuitively enough to, okay, this is what I have here. Universe spirit. I trust that you're going to lead me to the right job, more abundance and things of that nature. Take a time out to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's good to know that the universe is really working with me today on this because it is such a beautiful day of energetic inspiration that has came to me. So the cards are just flowing. Take a time out to breathe, slow down. Where are you going? Where is any of us going? Where are we going? Okay, that's a good question to ask. Where are we going? Take a time out. Why is everyone in a rush to get everywhere? It's about, look at this person, peace. They are still, they are surrounded in nature with waterfalls. Some of you who have dreams to go, this is just for some of you, have dreams to go to overseas, Indonesia, or places where they take a, a meditation seriously, obviously Bali, things of that nature, Fiji, islands, nature of any of that. That is where you should make more of a plan of action. It's like either you're too like planning it or you are too dreaming like, like, oh, I, I would love to go to Bali. I would love to go to Indonesia. I would love to go to Sedona. I would love to go to these places where these meditation retreats are. And those are dreamlike. So you don't really strategize it. But then everything else you strategize and then you don't have the dream like so it's almost like having the two together is what's going to manifest so you have a lot to look forward to just because of learning this piece control control that's exactly what i was saying we have to release the control and it's scary to be out of control sometimes because we're like if i don't this will happen and that's what you're learning now is to release that so that you can allow spirit in more who is much more intelligent than we will ever be to be able to help us guide us in, in where we need to ripeness. So yeah, the, the lack mindset of financial things is getting ready to come into ripeness. Again, everything's coming in full circle. It's like these cards are perfect for you guys. <laughs> Go with the flow. If you would think that I literally picked these cards out for you guys. Going with the flow, this is the Ace of Cups, just allowing things to happen. You know, going with the flow is just like in a boat on, on the ocean and just, you know, going with the flow, not trying to control the ocean waves, but you'd have to go with the flow. Think of yourself on a boat and think of the ocean as the universe and the higher self. And we're trying to control that. It's like, it's, it's doesn't work. So you have so much to look forward to. That's going to allow you to be free. That's going to bring peace by just simply knowing to go with the flow, trusting in universe. Okay. Um, there's a lot of lack of trust here too. Just trusting people, trusting mentors, trusting, 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 trusting. You're getting ready to have more of that. Money is coming to you as well. It's slow, but it's coming. You're going through a spiritual awakening. I knew that this was a heavy group. So the judgment card is here. This is a calling on your life to now don't get crazy on me. I'm not saying that you have to go out and leave thousands of people unless you've had that dream and you feel that that resonates. But the judgment card is that just you simply waking up to peace, what you have to look forward to is being able to help people do the same thing. So with this is, this is just part of who you are is, is to master the peace within mastering the peace within much more creative juices coming to you, much more creative juices, following what you love to do, not what you have to do. There's a difference there. And then last but not least the wheel of fortune, which is all about changes. So you have a lot of changes that are happening. Now the wheel of fortune comes from cycles. In order to break the cycle, you must try something new. That's why we have the ace of wands here. The, these cycles mentally trying something new, having fun more, relaxing more, you know, and incorporate, incorporating more of that so you can have some balance. Okay, deck number two, if this is what you chose, don't forget to comment down below. If you can participate, do the hashtag I am peace so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. And if you happen to go across a comment, please feel free to inspire and uplift that person as we're going to be bringing more harmony and unity to my comment section. All right, guys, until next time, I'm on to the next deck. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. And what do you have to look forward to? Now, before I get started, I just want to say that I chose a word for each different deck for the overall energy, for what you have to look forward to. And for you guys, it is abundance. So let's see what you have to look forward to in abundance. I have not seen the cards. I just felt that this deck was screaming abundance. 
All right, so we have compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential in the hermit card. So we have Virgo energy on the board. You don't have to be a Virgo. I'm sure more will come up, but that's what we have right now. I follow my own pathway. Celebration. So you have a lot of good things on the line. It seems like the biggest blockage is just not, not believing, not believing in the potential that you have as much as you should. And that is to be abundant. Okay. So with the celebration card, it seems like you're getting ready to have a breakthrough. Yeah. Beyond illusion. So with the beyond illusion, again, we have two cycles. It seems like there's going to be a breakthrough with you that you're getting ready to have that is almost going to shatter, shatter your perspective that you've been having about the possibility of more. See, when I first seen abundance, I'm thinking, you know, finances and things, but you're getting ready to just have more in general, in every aspect of your life. But the biggest thing is just simply believing in that possibility and knowing that you're deserving of that. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. So, so many changes are occurring. You have two major, three major arcana cards here. Now that we have the Beyond Illusion, we have, I trust whatever the universe brings and I follow my own pathway. So you guys are getting ready to be abundant just simply for being honorable to your path, okay? Now, there's a little bit of doubt that I'm picking up, just like this doubt and this not as optimistic as you can. So spirit is, it seems like something's getting ready to happen to raise your frequency. It's like a celebration. It could be a birthday. It could be a holiday that's getting ready to come up. I think we have the 4th of July. There's going to be a celebration that shifts your, your perspective so that you can allow more to come in. But the more word is also realizing that you're deserving of that. The gift, present, offering. So this is also getting ready to experience you're getting ready to experience a very beautiful present moment. So these celebrations, it's like the more that you can have, the better. It's like it's necessary to celebrate how far you've come. It's necessary to celebrate your growth. It's necessary to know that you are deserving of more. But it seems like it could be a slow, lonely path. And it's not a bad lonely, okay? This is just, you know, some people say it's lonely at the top. It's like you're going to be leaving behind people because there's more for you and you've been waiting, yes, because you don't believe in it entirely or that you don't believe or deserve or feel like you deserve to have all of this abundance that you're actually longing for. Some of you even feel like in order for me to be abundant, I must work very hard. And that is also a limitation. So moving beyond illusion, understanding that I and you are both abundant. And when you understand that you are abundant, abundant will attract you anywhere you go. But it's that belief, okay? So it seems like you're getting ready to have a lot of spiritual shifts and just not caring as much, right? Just having fun and honoring the present moment because this is the only moment that we're alive. Even me saying that is now in the past, it goes that quickly. And so trying to catch the present moment comes from things such as like adrenaline rushes or sometimes it's pain that brings us to the present moment. But spirit wants you to bring yourself to the present moment through celebration. Throw a celebration, get a cake, it doesn't have to be your birthday. Celebrate your success, celebrate how far you've come. The fact that you're still here on this earth to experience life celebrate, have fun, and be kind to yourself. You're being very hard on yourself about, you know, the things that you want, how far you have to go, et cetera, et cetera. But just celebrating is going to change your energy. Tree of Souls, collective wisdom. So yeah, library. There's a lot of, in the Tree of Souls, it's almost like infinite knowledge, right? When I've opened up this portal of spirituality of just understanding that words are words, just like money, but they're all programmed, right? And so what you're learning is to see abundance spiritually and not so much practically. It's like, wow, right? Yeah, because I see that you're here in this moment, right? And it's either, it's a party, it's a celebration, it's a birthday. I don't know what kind of celebration it is. 
And it's like, just take a step back and say, wow, I'm so abundant. Look at all these amazing people around me. We have plenty of food to serve ourselves. We have this house over our, our head. It's like the gratitude also is, is going to happen for you so that it moves room and makes room for abundance in your life. All right, let's see. Anxiety and the angel of balance. Yes, exactly. The balance of not, it, so many earth sign energies in this reading. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I've been calling you guys out a lot lately, right? So sometimes we have to create our own pathway because we can't wait for others. So I see that you're getting ready to take this journey, but it's going to wake you up to so much love in this life and seeing within yourself the light that you have to be able to attract even more light. And light is just simply abundance. It is a form of light. So the anxiety is just coming from the rush, okay? There is a rush or the things that you've done in the past. Also a little bit of forgiveness, a little bit of holding yourself back or feeling guilty for being free or as free as you want to be. And some of you even feel like, who am I to think that I could be so abundant? You know, does that mean I'm entitled? Does that mean I'm greedy? No, these words are like repellent words from abundance, okay? You and the universe, we are one with the universe. We literally almost mirror the universe. If the universe is abundant and has everything it needs that grows out of itself, so do we. And so that's why there is a deeper look into beyond what you see so that you can feel more. And you know, instead of worrying about the things that you don't have, I'm seeing that there is a shift in gratitude and much because of that, more abundance in your life coming through. Your hard work is paying off in the reverse, okay? So some of you are a little stressed about seeing the fruits of your labor. A new romantic cycle begins. Let's see what that is about in abundance. <sighs> I just need to take a, a moment of silence for that because I'm telling you guys, I love to see at how everything comes together because when I felt this deck I just typed up four words and I said this is the deck of abundance and now we have this card abundant and that's why I'm going to start shuffling on site so that you guys can be just as freaked out and surprised and excited as me because abundance is not just the king of pentacles this is who you're becoming but it's so cool because this abundant guy is a hippie. He doesn't even have anything, but he has a magic carpet. And that's why I said beyond the illusion of what you have in a practical, tangible thing. You know, it's easy to say, I don't have a lot of stuff, but you have so much abundance within. And so you must go beyond this illusion of what we see. And sometimes even looking at our bank account, it convinces us that that, that, that is us because of what we see, the numbers. We let that determine who we are. But no, we have to first know, just like you and me, that I am abundant and then the abundant will begin to flow to you because you know that you're abundant. Abundance attracts abundance. Lack attracts lack. So much abundance coming to you. And it's just internal. It's just, imagine being so fulfilled and not having anything. It's like, what are you so happy for? That's the beautiful shift that you're getting ready to take and what you have to look forward to. I literally, I cannot lie. I cannot make any of this up because I have the king of pinnacles here. You know what I'm saying? It's like abundance, abundance. And now the king of pinnacles, all this greenery, okay? Abundance in nature, it is unlimited. Water, the resources that we have, it is unlimited. Change your perspective on abundance. You are a fountain. Okay, of abundance flows effortlessly. Abundant means overflow. If you think of a cup, you will have over the fulfilled line of the cup. You have the capability to have it run over the cup. And so you must believe that. Now we have Gemini energy, but we also have the lover. So yes, a new romantic cycle and we have the new moon in Libra. So you guys could be a Libra. Then we have Capricorn energy twice. Okay, so with the lover's card, again, there's definitely going to be a new romantic cycle, but I'm not, I, I don't feel like this as much as a, a person as it is just your love for life, okay? This new romantic life that you're going to have. Let's see what else is here. Yeah, I don't feel like it's a, a romantic partner right now, but I also feel like this abundance in your life 
is going to affect your romantic partnerships in a very much more flattering way. A lot of you find fulfillment through abundance. And so when you don't feel as abundant, you're not your greatest version in a relationship. And so you're going to find that and you're going to have, you're going to bring that to your relationship and it's only going to enhance the two. So that's good because not only will you be bringing to the table, that person will bring to the table and you guys will have an overflow and then that will go to your children and grandchildren and etc. For those of you who want children, 10 of wands. Yeah. It's an overwhelming feeling of just worry. Look at this, the 10 of swords, anxiety, worried. How am I going to do this? How am I going to get this? How am I going to sustain this? Where will I be next year? Well, what, where will I be this Friday? It's too many thoughts about money. So shifting your perspective on, on abundance is also going to help you attract it more. So you have a lot of that coming to you. And then we have the five of cups. This is just some regrets that you have forgiveness. Let it go because you can't live there anymore. Remember the present moment is also where you will find the most abundance in your life. Okay. This present moment is where you feel the most grateful is when you take a step back and you're in the now. And that is what is going to help you bring more abundance to your life. Okay. So if you guys chose deck number three, you pretty much already know what this is. This is abundance, abundance, and abundance. But this is abundance within. This is not just financially. This is an abundance of life, of joy, of understanding, of knowledge, of freedom. Okay. And releasing the fear of repeating the past or not getting to the future that you desire. So if you guys chose deck number three, hashtag down below, I am abundant. So I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. If you happen to come across a comment, please feel free to inspire and encourage or uplift that person so that we can spread harmony and unity in my comment section. All right, I'm moving on to the last deck, deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what do you have to look forward to? All right, so I chose a word before I shuffled each different deck. I have no idea what cards are in this deck. And the word that I got for you guys was love. Obviously, this is the Rose Quartz. This is all about love. Love self internally. Your internal self is love. So let's see what you have to look forward to and what type of love this is. Friendship, better friendships, your soul tribe. Okay, a lot of you have been going through a spiritual awakening. You have such a delicate heart of gold and you just really want the best for people. And I feel like universe is getting ready to send you your soul tribe and more positive, uplifting people who are, you know, not spreading as much low frequency, but just spreading love and positivity and encouragement. And I see a lot more socializing for you as well. Just getting back out and having a love for life and a love for people. The leap, ecstasy, bliss, and belief. So this leap is all about euphoria. And this love for yourself is something that I feel like is going to take you to a place of feeling deserving of experiencing a higher level of happiness. Because yes, there is levels. Sometimes happiness lasts a minute. Sometimes it lasts a day. Sometimes it lasts for days. And sometimes it can last for weeks. And that's just like a euphoric experience. And so ecstasy and the bliss and the belief comes from this leap. But let's see what's going on here. We have celebration. All, I feel like out of all four of the decks, this was the most like uplifting, bubbly spirit that I've had. And if you haven't felt like that lately and you haven't felt like yourself lately, then you're getting ready to definitely have a shift. It's going to require you to take a leap into a more positive realm. And, and, it's, and it's a little bit challenging now because of everything going on. Um, I do have a webinar that I will be hosting about raising your frequency and vibration, no matter what being the Oracle of that frequency. So please check the comment section or my website, thetarotpriest.com for that information. I think that would be really good for you. The reason why I say that is because man, you're such an impact. There is so much love, love, love here. Just the fact that these three cards, it's a lot of love. It's a lot. Look at this, the star card, the sun card. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy. So if you guys have been feeling challenged, obviously with everything going on with the low frequency of the, the shame, the guilt, the harm, the violence, the disharmony, the discord, you are learning that you are your own source of energy. You have 
so much to look forward to actually it's like it makes me smile to just see these three cards here of ecstasy the star which is hope and the sun card it says i am optimistic optimistic and appreciative of all of that i have that alone should bring joy to you so it's like what universe is helping you do right now is to shift your energy no matter what because some of you your delicate hearts and your delicate sensitive energy which is not bad again you're an empath it's it's a beautiful ability when you know how to use it but sometimes you absorb too much and i talk a lot about this in my videos and so you kind of got sucked into this low frequency not wanting to usually being inspiring or uplifting or you know encouraging or not really showing exactly what's what you're going through because you don't want to burden anyone else that's just a selfless compassionate person that you are you're getting back to that place and it's almost like deck number four let me tell you you have the ability to create happiness right where you are use music momentum get your body into a different state so that your vibration can rise um turn off the media take a hiatus from social media remember you absorb everything and get back to that place of joy Hell, watch Trolls, the movie. Get some encouraging music, uplifting music in movies and something that you can feed your soul so that you can get back to you. And I feel like you're already gonna do that. You're literally transitioning into this place, which is why we have celebration. And just like I said to another deck, if it's not your birthday, then it's a special day. And that is just simply because you are loved and you're deserving of a celebration. And so a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Okay? So take action. Now, you have the strength. You're literally like an oracle of, or an orb of happiness and positive optimism. Again, if this is not how you've been feeling, it is just simply because you are out of alignment with your true self because your true self is extremely encouraging and that's why i said just switch up the media a little bit you're gonna get there anyway this is what you have to look forward to is a lot of happiness some of you may want children and expanding your family you will do that some of you want to be inspiring to the world or be inspired or feel passionate about doing something when you wake up and not just doing the same thing every day and you will as long as you're optimistic and positive remember that is the fuel of manifestation okay so you're learning how to become the oracle step out of your comfort zone yes try something new again get that energy flowing if you have to get a little cake put a candle on it and hell you made it halfway through 2020 and that should be a celebration in itself and so that's the the shift that needs to happen because of the love the love that you have is not just love it's love for life love for people love for you love for positivity love for gratitude love for optimism believe in the impossible so you are shifting right now. You have a lot of shifting, a lot of possibilities coming by just simply believing that there is more, okay? Knowing that you are loved, that the universe loves you and wants you to have the desires of your heart. Ordinariness, okay? This is again, just a child, what, gardening? Very peaceful, participation, okay? And integration, <laughs> I love it, integration, integration. What are you integrating into deck number four? Love, yourself, peace, harmony. Anything that is not of peace, love, especially love, harmony, unity, is does not belong to your aura. Think of yourself as a big, being in a big aura of this perfect loving energy. And then someone comes and they cut you off and then you're out of your aura. You're learning to maintain that because we can't control what other people do. We cannot control the world around us as we see. Even if it gets in chaotic measures, all we can do is remain who we truly are and that is love. No matter how many times we get hurt, we come back to open up in love. That is the power of the love that you have. There's so much in store for you. There's so many reasons to fulfill your desires, your passion, and your purpose in this lifetime. You're going through the integration of becoming more of yourself. And I get it, people hurt people who love. 
It's like a big ball of love that you're trying to give to people and sometimes they don't want to take it or maybe that has happened in the past but you're learning not to change yourself because of circumstances around you understanding that nothing is perfect outside of you and also understanding that people are not perfect and that everything that is meant for you will happen in the right timing but if everyone were afraid to love because they were hurt we would be really lacking love in this life. So we as light workers, okay, people who try our hardest to love so that we can heal our wounds, love people past their flaws is a beautiful power and a beautiful gift to have. All right, we have the six of wands, recognition. People are going to thank you for just simply being a good friend. So be prepared for that. Much more acknowledgement on, on your end and coming to you of how amazing you are in the sense of being able to just be love after the things that you've been through. Because we know it's not as easy to love people that have hurt us the most, to love, 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 love after rejection and rejection and abandonment or whatever the case may be, mostly rejection. Five of Swords, this is an inner battle of protecting, should I protect myself? Should I protect my heart? Should I protect so I don't get hurt? Or should I love because that feels better? Because remember, as soon as you block out your heart, you block it from receiving and giving, okay? Justice, we have Libra energy here. And this justice card is getting justice for the things that you desire, breaking karmic cycles. Now, this does not sound like you at all. And you're like, oh, I used to be like that as a kid. Well, it's definitely time to revisit that childhood because this is who you were before the world got a hold of you or before your thoughts discouraged you okay two of swords again thoughts inner battle most of your stuff that you're dealing with is internally it's internally and then we have the nine of pentacles much more abundance in love so the nine of pentacles is talking about contentment and also fulfillment on a much more practical way so a lot of you are going to start experiencing abundance differently and finances differently remember love is the overall energy of what it is that you're getting ready or what you should look forward to or what is getting ready to happen in your life that is a positive measure and so that affects everything when you have a love for finances not from a greedy way but just simply loving that money allows you freedom and gives you the resources to do what it is that you really desire to do that love will create more money more abundance that love in people will create better friendships okay and act as a filter to eliminate the people you know sometimes we meet people we give love or we attract them into our aura but you're learning how to maintain your aura no matter what and that's very important so there's a lot of practical things that are coming to you as well just from taking the actions of love just by following love doing something outside of your comfort zone believing in the impossible changing your beliefs around what it is that you can have and achieve including a loving life partner okay this is all that's getting ready to happen for you is you're more than just ordinary and you're getting ready to see that for yourself so I am inspired and positive about the future. I am optimistic and I am appreciative of all I have. That is your words of affirmation for what is to come for you. Better friendships, more understanding of who you are, a love for practical things. It's okay to desire practical things. They just are simply representations of us. You know, the car that we drive, it is an expression of us. We chose that car. We feel that car represents us. And if we don't, you are definitely being ignited to another level of believing that you can have what you believe you deserve. So know that you deserve the best of the best in quality measures. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading. Hashtag I am love down below so that you guys can get some words of encouragement back from me. And if you do happen to come across a comment of someone else down below, please feel free to bring harmony and inspire them. I want to bring more unity to my comment section. So thank you guys for tuning in to this pick a card reading. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Stay encouraged, uplifted, and inspired. Love and light to you all.